Hey guys, my name is Setman and I'm back once again with another Destiny video and it is Friday so we are in the reef to visit our favourite friendly neighbourhood black guy. We're going to go see Zor and see what gear he has for today but before we get into the video make sure you drop a like on the video and drop a big fat subscribe on my channel it would help me out tremendously so let's get straight on to the video. So as usual, well, as per usual lately anyway, Zor is in the reef. I think he's just totally given up on the terror. I guess he just got tired of it and now he's in the reef pretty much exclusively which kind of sucks because I mean like uh, nobody goes to the reef for anything anymore so it's kind of just like out of the way to come here but yes yeah, so he's just sitting in the corner and we're going to see what gear he has and I'm going to give my my two cents on the matter and see you know what should you actually get from Zor if anything but anyway starting off with the video we are going to get straight in and start at the bottom first of all obviously he does have the usual exotic shard and mode of light very essential guys you know it's totally totally exactly what you need um i actually will need to buy one of these exotic shards though um next he does have glass needles the three of coins five pack a three pack of heavy ammo synths and the two plasma coils for the old blue sparrows now for the most important part the gear starting off here we do have a legacy engram for a special weapon he just does have the Imperian Bellicose. Uh, I actually said it right that time. I, I can never say that right first time because it's, it's a tongue twister for me. But the Imperian Bellicose for the Titan, that's the helmet. The Young Amkara's Spine Gauntlets for the Hunter and the Void Fang Vestments for the Warlock. And for the weapon, he does have the Baju. -ju 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 -ju. Now, starting off on the gear. First of all, obviously, as I said, the Imperian Bellicose. Wow, I said it right again. Anyway, for the roll and stuff on this, the roll on this is actually 91% roll, so it's not exactly great. It is actually the best percentage roll out of any of the stuff here. I actually quite like this one because this is a helmet I actually used, used to use quite a lot back in the day. I would couple this with Icarus and it would actually be really good with hand cannons and things like that because I had a couple of really nice rolled Icarus hand cannons. This one obviously holds you in place in mid-air while you're aiming and coupled with Icarus it actually makes it really really good. Also I like to run full in intellect and discipline rolls. I really I usually kind of skip strength altogether because I'm never close enough to actually get a melee kill so intellect and discipline is exactly what I want to, what I want to be running the whole time and like I said it's 91% roll so it's actually decent. I did pick this up, this one up this week as you can see from that red bar there but yeah so I actually quite like this it's cool cool looking helmet as well next we do have the young arm car spine now this week it is a 90% roll on this obviously not desirable it's an intellect discipline roll which is decent but I would like this to be a higher percentage roll but as always Zor does not sell anything really in like above the early 90s that's really as far as he goes um, you, need to, you really need to wait for a good exotics to drop from like the nightfall and stuff with decent rolls. Anyway, obviously, as you guys probably know, this is the trip mine cheese stupid bullshit trials look of gauntlets, whatever. These give you increased trip mine grenade duration and gain an additional trip mine grenade charge. Now, this intrinsic perk is probably used to be one of the most overpowered and worst things ever. Basically, back in trials in year one, before they had you know nothing manacles for warlock and other things like that, skip grenade glitches and shit. This thing was so overpowered because trip mines hadn't been fixed yet, so trip mines were literally like sniper rifles. Uh, you could put them anywhere on the map and they kill your teammate no matter where. So if you had two of them um, and your grains recharged, you could literally just, th just throw trip mines everywhere. So they were really overpowered. Obviously, you can't do that anymore. They are actually total garbage now. So um, this really kind of is totally redundant. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even go buying this in my dreams. But I mean, if you don't have it, it's a pretty cool thing to have. It's got all like the shit on the side. It's really weird because usually it's only Amkara stuff that the warlocks have. So it's kind of strange to see one of the, like the Amkara stuff for hunters because supposedly only like warlock mines can handle whatever. I don't know. Anyway, they're pretty cool. If you don't have it, buy it. If not, don't don't bother. Just leave it. Next, we do have the Void Fang Vestments for Warlock. Now, these used to be one of my favorite things to run on a Warlock. I used to absolutely love them. Basically, the intrinsic perk on this is spawning with a full grenade charge and Axiom Bolt gains an additional Seeker. These were really overpowered again in Trials when they came out because Axiom Bolts had just been given a buff and giving your Axiom Bolt an extra thing to blow people up. They actually ended up being a one-hit kill, which is really OP. I mean, it was it was really OP. Also, this is a full discipline roll, but looking at that, it looks pretty high, but this is only an 88% roll. This is not desirable in any way, shape, or form. It's really just not what you want at all. Also, what it's dropping with is shotgun and assault rifles, like the ammo, so that's really just totally, po totally pointless. You're never gonna wanna use this. If you get this in a higher roll, by all means use it, but with this one at an 88% at an 88 I, I would avoid it at all costs. It's really, really not that great. Now, and last but not least, we do have the weapon. Probably one of my favorite weapons ever to come into Destiny. I remember getting this from the old quest back in year one and feeling like an absolute god. This is one of my favorite weapons 
ever to play with in Destiny. So basically, this is the Ba Juju. This is basically the greatest thing ever to use if you're using a Nova Bomb Warlock because the intrinsic perk on this, the String of Curses. After each kill, this weapon will reload instantly and increase the damage for a short time. Kills will help charge your super. Any kills with this will charge your super so quickly. If you used to run this and then run it with the Obsidian Mind for the Warlock, you would have literally, literally unlimited Nova Bomb. It would be the greatest thing ever. Also, this thing does fire in full auto, has increased hip fire stuff, and yeah, it's also full, like pretty, pretty full stability. I mean, you can either choose to forfeit stability for range, but I mean, if you have range and stability, just about this one, it's actually quite overpowered. Also, if you haven't seen them, the new um freaking customization options for it the new skins look absolutely beast the green one looks like you just lumped barney the dinosaur's um skull on the front of it and then this one is all like tribal and stuff it looks really cool but um yeah no, I, I absolutely love this gun by all means go buy this gun obviously it's not as good as it used to be it used to be quite good in pvp and pve I back in the day but I mean, it's it's really just not what it used to be. It's it's a fun gun to use. It's quite a novelty, and I suppose the full auto and the whole like re reloading the magazine and stuff when you get a kill is actually really helpful, and it looks really cool, and it feels cool because you can just spray down so many thralls. Best thing ever. This this literally used to be my my go-to gun for the raid on Crota's end because you could just slay and slay and slay. But anyway, guys. That is pretty much it, I think. There's not really that much else I can say. If I was going to say anything to get, it would probably be the Bellicose and the Bad Juju and, of course, your Three of Coins and whatever have you. But, um, yeah, so uh, if you did enjoy the video, obviously, I hate saying this, it's it's quite, you know, um, mm, needy. But, uh, yeah, so if you did enjoy the video, make sure you do drop a like, a comment, or a subscribe on my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section or anything you want to say to me. If you want to ask, any, if you want to ask anything, I will happily reply because I don't get enough comments. In my, I, I want to get more comments and talk. Talk to the people actually watching my videos. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for me, Hitman. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And I've been Hitman. I will see you in the next one, guys. Hitman out.